So while I was off screen, I decided to go ahead and speed up the process because we'd seen more than enough of the Mushroom Cup at that point. I went ahead and beat uh, Mushroom Cup in 150 off screen. So let's move on, shall we? Now I've been I've been favoring Daisy, but you know what? Let's be fair. Let's get a pe let's get a little bit of Peach in there. But they're gonna they're gonna ride Luigi's bike just to completely mess with things. I think I already got gold there. Gold there. Nope, haven't even tried it on Star Cup yet for 100 CC. So let's do this thing. And this means that if everybody else, if everybody else except for uh, except for uh, Daisy and Luigi got paired up with who they're supposed to be with, that means it's just it's just like a couple's date basically. Because uh, Luigi and Daisy will be hanging out with each other, and Mario and uh, Peach are hanging out with each other. Whatever, I guess, you know? Ah, that worked out marvelously. That could have been really bad, but I actually managed to pull that out pretty well. What is that? I got some kind of clicking sound in my left earpiece. I'm not sure what it is. It's annoying me, though. I hope that doesn't come through in the recording. Whoa! Just run into everything, why don't you? Come on! Peach, why are you so useless? You drive. Ah! Ugh. Never mind, you're back on item duty. You're even worse at that. What is, her, what is that voice that she's doing? I can never understand what anybody is saying in this game. I think it's because there's so much music and other sound effects going on, so I can never understand what the lines are that people be saying. Ooh, I just barely avoided that. I barely avoided that. Okay. Ah, man. I'm a mess. I'm just a wreck. No! Don't do that! Ah, ah. I keep drifting in the wrong direction. I'm not sure what causes it. I just realized something. Okay, so the um, uh, Mario Kart 8, this is one of the tracks that they're bringing back retro, but in the um, uh, in the new game, when you fall out of the map, there's no like fade to black, you just basically get grabbed instantly because they're trying to speed up the, um, uh, they're trying to speed up the pace of the game, right? So that means that you can no longer get frozen when you fall off. Aw, it's kind of lame. I guess you just get frozen when you run into the blocks. Yep, couple date. Oh, but they're still riding in the, the Luigi Kart. It would have been the Luigi Kart. They're still riding in the Luigi Kart. It would have been hilarious if they'd taken... It would have been hilarious if they'd taken the Mario Kart and we'd taken the Luigi Kart. I guess Mario's just rolling in the cash, like... Sorry, no, I'm, I get Luigi's rolling in the cash. Mario's so burnt out, he can't afford a decent car anymore, so he just uses Luigi's car. Look at these nerds in front of us. We're fighting Yoshi and Birdo and Wario, and Waluigi. If we lose to these chumps, that's just unacceptable. That sets a bad precedent for the entire Mushroom Kingdom. We're, represent we're representing the entire nation here, because we have the alpha male of the nation, and the leading monarch of the nation. We really need to do well. Hey! Aha. I, I like to think that, I like to take some credit in the fact that they just got rammed into that wall. I think it was entirely to do with me. And backwards. No, ah, I screwed it up. I was supposed to go back. Oh well, it doesn't matter, I guess. Crud, that means they probably got the item that I didn't get. How did they possibly? Their acceleration is terrible. How can they possibly have outpaced us there? Do, 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 do. Or I guess, hold on. Maybe our acceleration is the same because uh, because Luigi's has a different uh, amount of acceleration than most of the middle carts. Whatever. I need to find something more interesting to talk about. Oh, she's just a little. Ooh, she just blows me a kiss. That's what I'm talking about, with the advantage of having... Jeez, just getting batted all over the place. That's what I like about this game, having the multiple characters. You can just have way more animated personality, because you can't, uh... Like, in the other games, when somebody gets hit, you have to... I mean, a certain amount of... Ah! When somebody gets hit, you know, they still have to be driving the cart, so there's only so much you can do with their animation at that point. But, uh, here... The, um, uh... Oh, I didn't have enough boost to get across that. Here, the, uh, since you have somebody on the back, they can dangle off the back when they get hit, they can hang out of the cart when you're drifting. Uh, they're just much more animated, and you can do the, uh... When you don't have the, um... 
item in your hand, they can do the little taunt, which is, I especially like that aspect of it. <laughs> I got into first place with that, nice. I wasn't even paying attention. I thought uh, Waluigi and Wario are way too far ahead. And the mushroom is just littering this course because of that, uh, that Mario. Sorry, not that Mario. Wow, because of the, um, uh, the mushroom car that's always rolling around here. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. Well, we're not going to win this one, clearly. Ba -ba. That sounded really gross. Next time, it's mine. I actually just went out. I actually just went out and bought a Wii U the other day. Uh, Nintendo's lineup before now hadn't been too impressive, but um, uh, their upcoming lineup, they got ah, I got the uh, I got the Mario Kart 8 Bundaroo. Oh, I can take the shortcut here. Ah, that. There we go. I got um, I got the Mario Kart 8 with it. Uh, Smash is coming out later this year. I'm really looking forward to uh, to uh, X in a couple of years. X or whenever that comes out. X looks fantastic. Even though we've only seen a little bit of video for it, I'm really looking forward to it. It looks very cool. For those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about, X is a um, uh, follow-up to uh, Xenoblade Chronicles, or at least made by the same uh, made by the same studio. It's part of the uh, Xeno series. For some reason, they decided to drop their fancy uh, naming method and just go back to uh, just call it X. Whatever. That looks cool. And I have faith that, uh, I mean, Nintendo's obviously not been doing so well financially, so, uh, I'm hoping that means, especially because E3 is coming up in a couple of days now, I'm hoping that that means they are going to announce some really big stuff soon, because they really gotta, they gotta put a lot of software out there so they can really try and move some more boxes if they're gonna try and do anything. So I feel like now is, now is the time to invest in a Nintendo box. Not that they're gonna up the price or anything, I mean, if anything, they're gonna make a new console, but I don't think they'll do that. I think maybe a new console in, uh, in three years or so. <laughs> maybe two. They wouldn't even have to make a new console if they could just figure out how to market the freaking Wii U in the U.S. It's just, the marketing is terrible in the, uh, in the U.S. If you haven't seen any of it, it's a lot, okay, number one, it uses a lot of dubstep, which, I mean, that's, lot, people like that, but if you're, if you're trying to sell this to families and stuff, there are plenty of parents who don't exactly like that type of music. Hey! <laughs> Plus, you have the issue of, um, uh, it doesn't show anything. See, the Japanese advertisements... Ah! The Japanese ads for the Wii U uh, advertise it as a new console. Whereas the, um, uh, the um, American advertisements... And I haven't seen any of the European ads, so I don't know how they're marketing it over there. But the, um, uh, the U.S. ads don't focus on the fact that it's a new console enough. So I imagine a lot of the people who bought the Wii, who weren't gamers, don't understand, well, why do I need a second one? Because it's not a new thing. Because the, the commercials, none of them show the box. None of them show the actual console. They all show the gamepad. They all emphasize the gamepad and the various features. So it looks like it's some kind of expansion, not an actual new fangled console. Might be able to pull this out. Might be able to get a goal. Anyway. And the issue is also all the commercials... Even the full, like, one-minute ones are so sporadically cut that you can't tell what's going on. They show the features, but they don't say what they are. So if you don't know what they are, they don't make any sense. They'll show stuff like, Oh, look! You can watch Netflix! You can get Hulu! You can, uh, you can have somebody else watching TV while someone else plays on the gamepad. But there's not a voice actor to say that. They're just split-second visuals. So it doesn't tell you anything about the box or its capabilities, or why it's different from the Wii U in any way. Wow, I just got completely uh, screwed there. Okay. Um, they're just marketing the Wii U so bad in the, uh, in the U.S. Because they're not selling it, they're not really selling it to anybody at this point. They're, because their commercials aren't oriented towards the hardcore gamer. Because their console isn't oriented towards the hardcore gamer. Sorry, guys. And the, uh, simultaneously... Mm. They aren't marketing it towards uh, non-gamer families because the, the commercials are impenetrable. They don't explain anything about what the box is or what it does or why it's different than anything else. 
why it's different than the, the Wii. The Wii. The Japanese ads, uh, of course, I don't speak a lot of Japanese, but they do much better because they, uh, from a little bit of Japanese and also from some of the, uh, the visual aids and the, uh, the, uh, Chingrish, seem to do a much better job. For instance, the, um, uh, the lady in one of the TV commercials calls it, uh, Super Wii. Wii U. See, that, that sets some kind of precedent as to what, ooh, I thought I dodged, did I dodge it? I dodged it, sweet. Okay. That sets a precedence as to what it is. It's a supercharged Wii. It's a better Wii, you know? Ah, oh, I missed that uh, star there. Not gonna miss these, though. Boosh! It's really unwieldy. I gotta get used to the handling in this game again, still. I gotta watch out for my question mark blocks. I don't want to kill myself on my own blocks again, which I, as you guys know, I am prone to do. Ha! No! No, 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 no! No, 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 oh. Okay. Anyway. Come on. Okay, I'm going to throw that back now, because I'm, I'm, I'm surely going to kill myself and lose it. Don't know if I'm going to win this or not, overall. I mean, I'm going to win this race, obviously, but I don't know if I'm going to win this overall. Anyway, the, um, uh... The issue with the Wii U in the US is they just aren't marketing it correctly. They aren't showing any of the features. They need to show it because, like in the in the uh, in the Japanese ads, it's like, look, look, here's all the games that you can play on it. It's also a Netflix box. You can also like it shows on uh, it shows Google's homepage, but up on somebody's TV. So it's like, oh, you can do internet browsing on your TV. You know that that's that's a feature. That's something that you can advertise. That's something you can market to an adult as like, look, this is something that you as an adult can use. This console isn't just for your kids to use. It's not going to sit around collecting dust, because you can use it as well. Yeah, also we won. What did we get? Woohoo! Yippee! Excuse me. Huh. Anyway, the, the main issue with the Wii U is just that it's not marketed very well in the U.S. right now. I think that that's, that's the main thing that I personally attribute to its lack of sales. Hardware, sorry, software is an issue as well, because they haven't had a lot of really good software for it so far. It was calling. Anyway, sorry, a phone was ringing. The main thing that I think is the issue with the Wii U at this point, other than, I mean, their software is somewhat limited, but that's not the main thing. I think if they made another Galaxy, I think that'd be a really big... Uh, boon to them right now, because that's something recognizable that kids would go, Oh, I want that! Because just seeing Mario isn't enough these days, I don't think. Young kids don't want the Mario Brothers as much as they used to these days. Especially since a lot of them already have 3DSs. I think if you threw, an I think if you threw another uh, Mario Galaxy out there, that'd definitely boost your sales. Though I imagine, give it a couple days, I'm sure we're gonna see, especially at E3, they're probably gonna come out and say, The, uh, the, um, uh, Nintendo, uh, Wii U sales have uh, doubled in U.S. since the uh, release of uh, Mario Kart 8. We uh, thank you for purchasing Nintendo Wii U. We'll see where it goes. I think if they can really hit, if they can really release some good software over the next couple of years. If they can really get some good software out over the next couple of years, I think that they have a shot to, um, uh... Did I already get... Wait, what? Hold on, is that silver or gold? Did I already get... What CC am I on? I wasn't paying attention. I be probably better pick the wrong CC. I'm on 150. When did I get gold on... Man. I guess I just don't pay attention to things, do I? Okay, hold on, let me double check what I have. Anyway, I think if Nintendo can come out with some good software over the next couple of years... If they can make some good software over the next couple of years, and if they can get their freaking US marketing straight, I think they could pull themselves out of the, um, uh... out of the financial gutter, at least for now. I don't think a lot of people are talking about they're just gonna that Nintendo's just gonna go away soon. I don't think I think they have too much name brand power to completely go away. I think I think if they don't play their cards right, they could totally be out of the console manufacturing business in a couple of years. 
But out of the game business, absolutely not. There's no way. And it takes something really catastrophic to, to just knock Nintendo out of the game-making business entirely. If they start, uh, if they if they uh, if they started publishing more stuff, I think they could definitely stay in longer. I love this course. This is a uh, this is another one of the ones that's uh, longer, so it takes. Or I guess it's the first one in this game. This is one of the tracks that's uh, longer, so it's two laps instead of one. I like this course because it got a very uh, it has a very Rainbow Road ish feel to it with a lot of ha yeah I like that. A lot of places to fall off. I don't know where to hit. Maybe there isn't a boost when you get picked up in this game. I forget. Anyway. I love the feel of this map. It's got a very good look to it. And, uh... I love that it's really long. I love long tracks so much. I wish there were more of them in Mario Kart. I feel like most of them just go on... They just end way too fast. This needs to get a, uh, a retro remake in the next uh, Mario Kart. Speaking of which, I really hope, I really, really hope, as, as much as this is probably a uh, a futile hope, I hope we can get some additional DLC for uh, Mario Kart 8. I can I can kind of see him coming out at uh, E3, which is now, it'll be like, uh, I guess, I guess that'll be about two weeks. Hold on, I'm trying to even... No, that'll be more like uh, it'll be more like a week and a half or so after uh, Mario Kart 8 come out come, came out. I imagine they'll come up on their Nintendo Direct at E3 and go, "Hello everyone, we hope you have been enjoying Mario Kart 8. Now we would uh, like to announce special downloadable additions to Mario Kart 8." And then and then they'll maybe I can kind of see them holding off an announcement like that until a little bit after the game has been released. And announcing this is going to be like the um, uh, the penultimate. Uh, well, not that's not. Hold on, that's not the right word at all. I'm sorry. But them them announcing that their plan is, you know, we're not going to necessarily be releasing as many Mario Kart games because we can now, since we have the digital capabilities, we can indefinitely produce more content for a single Mario Kart game. I I highly doubt that will happen. But if it did happen, that would be radical. That would also hopefully mean we get more characters, because I'm kind of... That is the one thing about 8 that looks kind of... that kind of bummed me out, was the, uh... the limited roster. I saw a lot of other people complaining about that, too. Huh! That was bad aim! I'm dead. Dead. Personally, I just want another... I just want another good Paper Mario. That's the main thing I want from Nintendo right now. Another good Metroid game wouldn't be too bad, but honestly, I've never really even... As, uh, you, can add, you can add Metroid to the very long list of things that I know way too much about, considering that I have never actually played slash watched them. I've watched, like, four episodes of Doctor Who. I know way too much about Doctor Who. Uh, what else is there? I'm trying to think of other stuff that I know way too much about for not having played it. Metroid is one of them. I know a ton about Metroid, and I never played a single Metroid. I know a ton about Zelda, but I've, only, I've never I've never played a Zelda game to completion, I should say. Though hopefully now that I have I have the uh, Mario Kart 8, I'm going to get the uh, free copy of Wind Waker, which is the one that's always looked like it would be the most interesting to me, or the most uh, the one that would engage me personally the most. I like this track a lot. This is another one. They did a retro version of this in, uh... <laughs> they did a retro version of this for, um... Whatchamacallit? MK8. 7! Not 8! I keep doing that. They did a retro version of this for MK7. Bruh! And, uh, they, have, they put the hang glider section where the dinosaur is. So you fly out and you have to, like, duck under... It's a really cool obstacle, because normally the, uh... Normally the hang gliding bits didn't really do much for me. But I like that part a lot, because the dinosaur's right there when you come out, so you really have to you have to try and dodge around it. I like that section. <laughs> That's a wall. What was I talking about? I don't remember what I was talking about. I was talking about something related to Nintendo. Oh, yeah! Zelda, one of the many things that I know way too much about, considering that I never played a whole lot of it. Yeah, I have the virtual version of, um, uh, of Ocarina of Time on the Wii. Whoa! But I never, uh, never played it to completion. Wasn't that I didn't like it, I just, like, I just stopped playing it one day because I got busy and never really went back to it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm looking forward to playing, uh, I'm looking forward to playing Wind Waker a lot. Because I like the series 
from everything that I've watched and read and learned about it, I just never really had the time to play through an entire game myself. Should go that way and get the items, but whatever. Too late now. Okay, I think we're I'm <laughs> I think we're gonna be uh, fine on this race anyway. Got to We have a little bit of a lead here. Oh, I thought that was a fake one. I was freaking out for a second. I thought I was gonna hit it for sure. It was actually a real item. Okay, what's the... I don't even remember what the next track is. Obviously, Rainbow Road is last, but I don't remember what the uh, second-to-last track is on special. Shame on me. My, uh... My many, many hours of playing Mario Kart are being lost on me. What track is it? Bowser's stupid! Stupid! It's the same in every game! What a stupid question! Why would I forget that? Maybe because it's so banal. Oh, sick burn! Watch out there. Ah, oh, dang. I thought I was either gonna hit him or his banana, but neither one of those things happened. I do like this one. I like this, uh, I like this Bowser's Castle. Hmm. Maybe not as much as some of the other ones. Mario Kart uh, 7s was okay, but I really like the look of uh, the one in eight. I obviously haven't played it yet, but it looks really cool. Wii's was also, I liked I liked Mario Kart Wii's a lot. There's some parts of this one that I don't like though. I like when you're coming out of there, there's the, um, uh, the wall is gone so you can get knocked off really easily. This next section too, where there's the uh, uh, fireballs here. This section I like. It's cool because they can both come up behind you and they're coming towards you there. Plus, if you're if you you don't even need a mushroom to take that shortcut. If you just have enough speed there, this is a very risky one because you can get shot in the middle of it. Boom, 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 boom. This is not exactly prime real estate. I'm not sure who would build a castle here. Look at all like the like the woods outside. No foliage, nothing. Also, there was a there's water right there underneath the drawbridge, not lava. That means he must have had all this lava imported. Like he didn't build this inside of a volcano. He had all that. He had all that lava brought in from somewhere else. What a jerk! It's not very environmentally friendly. Hey! I really wish that I had another controller. Because as much as I love the GameCube controller, I know that it's just clicking like crazy. And I know how much that'd drive me insane if I was watching this. I'm sure it's gonna drive you guys nuts too. But listen, I gotta drift, and I gotta get the boosts, because I need that speed! Let's beat this pre, shall we? I mean, it's not like this is that challenging. I want 50cc, obviously. And I'm gonna get the practice that I need to do this, to do well on the, um, uh... Next couple of difficulties, though. And after that, on to Mirror. We might actually unlock everything significantly faster than I expected to. Unless you have to, maybe you have to replay them. I don't remember. Or maybe only, maybe the characters only come from Mirror. I don't recall, to be honest. I guess we'll find out after we beat this. Maybe, uh, maybe it's special that unlocks character stuff. Though I, I feel as if the, um, uh, I feel as if there aren't enough things left. Because, let's see, there's, there's, a uh, huh, it, hmm. There's, um, uh, what is there? There's four for a special, and there's three here. There's not enough left to get all of the carts and all of the characters, so I must be forgetting something else you have to do to unlock stuff in this game. I'm gonna have to look it up. Because, like I said, the whole mission of this Plutz Play is to unlock everything. I wonder, is there like... I, I, okay, this, this would be a good thing for a Paper Mario game. Because those games are comedy and like to kind of make fun of the, the you know, the, the series' own inconsistencies and stuff. I want to see them go inside Bowser's castle and there's just like, it's all really creepy and booby-trapped everywhere with giant statues that shoot fireballs and it's like completely unfit for living. But then you go into some other section and it's just, it's just it's this really swank, nice place where Bowser and his, uh, and his nephews and niece live. <laughs> And he's got all, like, all the Koopas and Goombas and stuff live in these really crappy barracks, but he's just got this awesome, like, uh, like, five-room apartment that he lives in. I love this Rainbow Road. The music is good, and the texture of the track is fantastic. Ba -na 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 -na. 
ba na 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 Ha! <sighs> also, those turns are awesome. Get hit by an item once on there and you're toast. Look at how fast you're going here. Look at all that boost! Ba 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 No! I also like the, uh, the underneath, you can see there's like a city down there instead of just being up in space. Which, uh, MK... Huh? What are you doing? No! No! Stop drifting so much. It's not good for your health. I'm going to go into overdrift. Anyway, I like that there's the, uh, the city underneath it. It feels really cool. Because, uh, because we and, uh... Crud. Huh. We and, uh, and 3DS were both just up in space. But apparently for, uh, for 8, the, uh, the Rainbow Road that they remade for that one is, uh, the, um, Rainbow Road for 64, which I know is a lot of people's favorite. And they added the, um, uh, num number one, all of the, like, uh, pictures of the, uh, characters up in the sky are aren't static anymore. They're fireworks that appear and, uh, disappear dynamically. And, uh, also, the, um... There's a city underneath it like there is here. It looks really beautiful. I say apparently, it's not apparently. I've seen it myself, because I've seen trailers and stuff for it. It's really nice. Oh! Mushroom is not a good item to have on this. Oh, look! It's the rivalry. Huh. ba 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 da ba ba da I really wish there was a way to look backwards. What is that taunt? He's, like, waving. That's a great taunt. I love that. No, that's not great, though. Man, the steering in this is really sensitive. It's like you're, go you're going straight or you're going 90 degrees left. Or right, I suppose. Depends on which way you turn the stick. I just gotta get used to it again. Okay. And not a lot of places to go, though. Oh, yeah, I forgot. This This pass right here always has... Um, uh, well, not always. But shooting stars will land and stars will appear on the course. They're not worth going after, though, because they always appear right on the very edge, and you're guaranteed to go flying off the track if you try and pick them up. Plus, you go into that, that funnel right there, so uh, the star will wear off before you have the chance to bunce anybody. Ba -ba 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 -da -ba -ba -ba. I almost wish the music didn't speed up on the last lap so we could just keep listening to this, because it's great. But I suppose we'll, back we'll be back here soon enough when I go back here on 100 and... Uh, and one, uh, on 150. Ah, it's a banana. And... Overdrift! Stop hitting bananas. There's one. Oh, I missed it. I guess it's not only on that stretch. It must appear all over the uh, course. Let's drift, but not fall off this time, shall we? I can do it. I'm sure I can. I just have to believe in myself. Nope, couldn't do it. Maybe next time. No, next time. No, what am I talking about? Next time we don't risk it, because we're on 100 and 150. We don't, have, we don't have the... We don't have the chance. I mean, we don't have the... We don't have the opportunity to risk it. We can't risk the risk. What am I talking about? By the time that they get here, that shell should be heading back to them. Ba -na 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 -na. Ba -na 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 -na. I do love this music, it's great. The music for the for the Rainbow Road in Mario Kart 7 was very disappointing. It was just like, it doesn't have a strong melody line at all. It's just kind of like, oh yay, it sounds like nothing. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -da. Like, if you, if you played the Rainbow Road from Mario Kart 8 music, I probably wouldn't even be able to tell you what it was from. It certainly wouldn't grab my attention or get stuck in my head. Man, everybody's gonna be confused as to who set all these records. Staff credits. Should we watch them? Let's watch them. I mean, it's only, you know, it's fair to watch them at least once. Ooh, look. It's Iwata. Shigeru Miyamoto. He should be everywhere on this, clearly. Why can't we play, why is, why is Shigeru Miyamoto not a character in any of these games yet? I really hope that, that Reggie is in Brawl. I think that that, uh, that Mega64 video that they did, where he was an android, that's totally gotta be him teasing that he's in Brawl, right? It's gotta be.
Wow, only six people did the programming, huh? It must have been tough. And only four people designed the courses. Wow. Graphic design. There's, there were a lot of graphics. There's all the road signs. There's the uh, the symbols on the individual carts and stuff. Screen design. What is that? Oh, that's probably the UI. Like your. Uh, this is the only Mario Kart game that has a speedometer. I'm pretty sure. Or did we did did we have a speedometer? I don't remember. 64 didn't have a speedometer, did it? Speedometer. Say the word properly. Voices. It always cracks me out that all the voices are um uh, for this stuff is English, even in the uh, Japanese versions. I'm pretty sure, right? It's the same people who do the Japanese voices, right? Debug the Super Mario Club. That's who I would trust to do my debugging. Localization design. You'd think there might be one English name amongst the uh, localization design, but I guess not. Oh, there we go. Northern American localization. Product testing. I see a lot of I see a lot of males there. That's not very nice. Look at that blur. That's 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 before Nintendo realized. Wait a second, no. The future of HD is Bloom.